Hello and welcome to Coaching Man's Calx 101 Episode 6. Calx 101 is a series that is meant to teach you the basics of Calx in theory crafting in order to have a better understanding of one of the most important aspects of it. By the end of this episode, you should have a better understanding of special multipliers, flat damage and procs. These are part of the damage formula, but sometimes not really used. They are more like some optional stuff that happens sometime and of course you have to account for it. All the resources used in this video will be linked in the description below. Let's start with a special multiplier. We can see it here as it is multiplied with the base damage. What exactly does it mean? Well, a special multiplier is a value that scales off a talent. It's not the basic base damage calculation you have, like it deals a percentage based on the character's attack. No, the special multiplier will scale off another talent. For example, on Yelan C6, it is stated that the special C6 barb is going to scale off the normal charge attack, her normal breakthrough barb, and the multiplier is 156%. So instead of having HP times 156% to get her base damage, you are going to calculate the normal breakthrough barb base damage and then multiply it by 156%. And that will get you like the final base damage for uh, the 6-6 breakthrough barb. The same way we have Yoimiya with her skill that scales as a special multiplier. You are going to have your normal attack base damage and then multiply it with the talent percentage for her skill. Similarly we have Shinshu C4 which states that it does 50% more damage on the kill hit which is also a special multiplier and is basically the base damage of a normal skill hit and you are going to multiply it by 150. In Hu Tao's case there is no special multiplier but when you have want to add to a sheet you are going to have it set here as a special multiplier and if let's say theoretically this is not Hu Tao it's Yelan you are going to add a special multiplier as 156% here and multiply them before adding damage, crit molt and so on. But for Huta I'm going to leave it as 100% because there is no actual special multiplier. Next we have flat damage. Flat damage can come from three sources. Character, weapon or reaction. Character and weapon work very similarly because it's basically a talent with a stat. In the case of weapons, they are basically passives that works as talents, a great example being Red Horde, which deals increased damage based off defense, and it also gives a multiplier. So you are going to calculate it the same way as you are calculating uh, the base damage of a character with scaling stat multiplied with the talent percentage, but the percentage will come from the Red Horde passive instead not from the character holding it. For characters, it's the same, but instead of having the multiplier from a weapon passive, you are going to have it from a character, like on Shenhua with her high sequels, or from Yen Jin with her normal attack buff. With flat damage here, since it's additive, it's basically like having two instances of base damage summed up, but one instance of base damage is from the character itself, the character that does the hit, and the other being from the other source that will add up to it and scale with the exact stats. So for example, Hu Tao. This is her base damage. If I do a normal attack, this is where it's accounted for that normal attack. But if she's paired with Shenhua, this is where her Icy Quill will come. And that Icy Quill proc will be calculated together with Hu Tao's damage bonus, crit, enemy multipliers and so on. To actually put it in practice, let's say we have Shenhua. I'm going to write here just for now. Attack, let's say she has about 3000 attack. And kill multiplier, let's search for it. Here, and we will see that the damage bonus, this is Isaac will 77.62% of attack. So now, we are going to calculate it exactly as base damage as we did earlier. And this is the base damage of the IC quill. But now instead of having it like here, 
and multiply it with Chen has defense, crit, and so on. We are going to add it to the character that triggered that proc. Let's say it's Hu Tao. And now these two will be summed up and then multiplied with Hu Tao's damage percentage, crit mold, and so on. I will leave this as zero because Hu Tao won't have any, but it's a thing to keep in mind. Additionally, you can even calculate it separately. You can add it here as base damage if you want and calculate the instance on its own separately but still use the multipliers from the character that triggered it. Lastly, the last source of flat damage is additive reactions, the spread and aggravate we talked about in the last episode. They work exactly as mentioned before, but calculated in a different way as you can see. We already calculated it here. Let's say theoretically, though it's not possible, put our triggers a spread reaction, we are going to add it right here in flat, at flat damage and this is where it's going to be calculated but since Hu Tao can trigger it I will leave it as zero. Lastly we have procs. Procs refer to character or weapon procs that are calculated separately and can only do physical hits. This will also scale with a character that has multipliers and stuff but it only gets uh, physical damage bonuses, physical resistance, it won't care about other buffs. Such procs are these from the characters or these from weapons, you can see all the sources here. So calculating it is very 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 simple. You will just get the scaling stat of the character and replace the talent percentage that we have right here with the percentage shown in the character or weapon passive. With all that covered, we can actually calculate damage now. Let's add a proc tab here, just so it be, but it will be zero. You are going to uh, calculate your proc if you want it. And now let's see here damage. So how do we calculate it? We are basically going to follow the formula. And as it says here, we are going to have the base damage multiplied with the special multiplier and add the flat damage and then multiply with everything else. So brackets and another one and we are going to have base damage multiplied with special multiplier and add in flat damage. And now multiplied with everything else that we have here. Okay, now with enemy multipliers, resistance, the amp multiplier here, plus the proc. And this is our Hu Tao, our Hu Tao's damage for one hit. In this case, we can drag it here and we can see that the damage killed even more. Because this is vaped, this is melt and the damage is different. If we come here and say the reaction multiplier for one hit damage is 1.5, we can see that it's now calculated as vape. If let's say she does spread, I can come here as flat damage and add the base damage here and we can see how it kills even more because that's how powerful flat damage is. It basically kills uh, the same way as the base damage. If we have a special multiplier, Let's say it's Yelan C6, though this that doesn't work, it's strictly for an example. We do here 156 and this kills even more. With all of this done, you now basically have a functional calculator. Congratulations! If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to join the coaching mains discord at discord.g slash coaching. Any questions regarding how to build your character or something basic, you can visit the help channels. If you are interested in asking questions regarding theory crafting, HQM also has a theory crafting section where you can find a lot of theory crafters including myself. If you want to ping or message me directly, you can find my discord tag in the description down below. This sums up special multipliers, flat damage and procs. As mentioned before, the resources used in this video will be linked in the description below. Next episode, KQMC.